Jojin and Mira are the children of Howland Reed, the Lord of Greywater Watch and a loyal Stark Bannerman. They first appear in A Clash of Kings, when their father sends them in his place, to attend the Harvest Festival and renew House Reed's pledge to House Stark and support the children of the late Eddard Stark. They become fast friends with Bran Stark and his baby brother, Rickon, and are shown solely from Bran's point of view. The older sister, Mira, is 16 years old when introduced in A Clash of Kings. As is typical of Cranogman, Mira is short, slim, and flat-chested with long brown hair and green eyes, and is described as having a cheerful disposition. She is intensely loyal and protective of her, prince, as well as of her own brother, with Bran commenting that the only one who ever angers or upsets her is her brother, Jojin. Though she is never described as being particularly beautiful, both Theon Greyjoy and Bran Stark seem to consider her attractive. She is a skilled huntress and fights with a small fishing net and a three-pronged frog spear, similar in style to a Retirius. She is able to defeat Bran's direwolf, Summer, in mock combat by entangling the direwolf in her net. The legacy of Bran's late aunt Lyanna Stark is also largely narrated through her storytelling. The younger brother, Jojin, is 13 when he first appears, but his sullen seriousness and maturity make him seem older. He is short and slim with unusually deep green eyes, and he wears green-colored clothing. He claims to have green sight, and the power of prophetic green dreams, from which he knows various arcane facts, including the day of his death. In Winterfell, Jojen recognizes Bran Stark as a skin changer who is able to enter the mind of an animal and control it, and he mentors Bran to help him gain control of his abilities. When Theon Greyjoy captures Winterfell, Jojen and Mira hide with Bran and Rickon in Winterfell's crypt after feigning escape, and they join Bran in his journey north in search of the Three-Eyed Raven after Ramsay Snow sacks and burns Winterfell. At the end of A Storm of Swords, they travel beyond the wall and Jojen becomes very weak. In A Dance with Dragons, Mira struggles to keep the group's spirits up but implies that Jojen's future is bleak.